All right, Th this is an Isla event, but it's a li with a little bit of a twist. Isla events will now have commentary since y'all seem to want more commentary videos. And Isla event videos with no audio from yours truly is just boring to watch. So that's what we're gonna be doing. But the thing is, and I meant to do it last week, but I forgot. Jam City has decided to do the same Isla event three weeks in a row. Maybe the rewards are a little different, but it's the same thing, same teams and everything. Like I don't want, I don't want to keep using Play Your Rex. Play Your Rex makes the thing so easy. It takes me about eighteen to twenty minutes normally. So I, um, I am finishing up eating. I'm eating eggs because I was hungry. But. If I gotta be honest, Jam City ruined Isla events. It's mainly because of the rewards that Jam City now gives you and having things being exclusive to Isla events, like the incubators and other things. But the teams that you get to use for three weeks in a row now, it's been the same thing. Three weeks in a row now, I've used Play Your X and it's been super freaking easy. Like, there's no challenge anymore. There's really none. Like, that's the whole point in the Ease events, because normally they're pretty challenging. But since JMC wanted to revamp what uh, the Ease events are, it's been garbage. Not fun. And <coughs> I'm hoping, Jesus, I'm hoping so, so that JMC reconsiders reworking the Ease events to how these events are now because these events are not fun anymore they're just not ask a majority of players the majority of players are going to tell you that these events are not fun they're not as challenging etc etc i just want these events to go back how everything used to be where these events used to be difficult and used to give you pretty good rewards like say 300 Ge uh, Gem Gemini Dudes DNA, 300 Ref DNA, 300 Hadros Lux DNA, and however m much other DNA of things that there are. Because I don't want to keep getting d DNA for things I already have a bunch of DNA for, and or DNA for things I don't use, like Pulmana Scorpius. I don't use the DNA for anything. I haven't even got my Sunga Scorpius to level above level 21, or no, a level above level 22. I don't use for it. I just have a bunch of DNA from from past events and everything. And then on Sundays, I donate my Pomona Scorpius DNA. Because three weeks in a row now, it's been the Scorching King Assault, unless it changed without me knowing. But that's what I was told, that it's the same thing. And I'm inclined to believe that because we get to use the same teams. It's not fun. And I hope y'all enjoy the commentary, and if you find yourself enjoying the video, the video at any point, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it means a lot to me, and, and it helps the channel to, out to grow tremendously. And I, last time I checked, I am 32 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers, and that's going to be a huge milestone for me, and I would appreciate it if you would drop a subscribe. Even if you don't watch my content ever again, you can turn off my notifications and, all, and other things like I do for people. Just please subscribe. As it really means a lot to me, and it's extremely support. It's supportive. It's extremely supportive of me. Okay. Now, and I would, and I want to say with the bosses, but I'm gonna leave that up to be a little bit of a su surprise. And I could have more difficulty in these events by using weaker things, but just. No, it's just these events aren't as enjoyable, so there's no point, honestly. 38 damage, really? And I don't get the crit. Great, great, great. And the new animations on the sauropods, like you just saw, I don't know if I like the new animations or not. Can I stop getting texts while I'm recording?
And I'm also surprised that Rajasaurus got a bunch of buffs, but then Raja Kylosaurus got no buffs for like resistances and everything. Raja Kylosaurus still is pretty bad, but it's decent for raids because of the shields and everything. But it kind of needs new everything because Raja Kylosaurus is bad outside of raids. But even then, it's not good in Arena. Maybe in Brawl because it has shields. But that's about it. But we ha we haven't had Brawl for like, what, one or two weeks now? Really? I get the crit and I don't need it. Bruh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. I slept like six hours. No, less than six hours today. I should have came home from work and slept, but I don't want to do that because that's going to mess up my, sl my sleep schedule. Even though I have a pretty easy time at sleeping at night because, if you didn't know, I have insomnia. But to combat that insomnia, I have instead been um, taking NyQuil at night. I take a little shot of NyQuil, and that does the trick. Do I need... Yeah, I need DOT. Hold on. Wait, I can't stop this stupid idiot. Okay. DOT. Eh, do I do Megalania? Yeah, I'll do Megalania. Megalania's Megalania is a good Omega, but it's been power, power, cre power crept a lot, especially by s things like Sinraptor. Megalotops runs really weird. It like gallops like a horse, even though it's a sloth dinosaur thing. How fast are you? 105? Okay, you're pretty slow. Um, are you speed resistant? Decelerate resistant? You are, but you're slower. Are you slower than everything? Well, you're not slower than my, my Megalania, so I'm gonna be that. Random determined rampage, okay. And there's not as much commentary as, like, in my battle videos, I apologize, it's just, I'm tired, and I want to take a nap, but I don't want to sleep, I don't want to mess up my sleep schedule, and I still have to go out and do things later. Like, I still have to take my dogs for a walk, and my, because my dog and I walk a couple miles every day. It's good to exercise for my dogs, because my dogs are old. My dogs will be 11 this October. Oh wait, what's your stun time? 87, okay. Okay, you're slow. Real slow. Oh, it's 9.4. Wow. 9.4 is a lot. Eh. Could have been more. Could have been more. But it's dead, so it doesn't matter. Platerex is just a beast. That's still one of my favorite animations in the game. Just simply because it looks cool. And like, I like the animation, but I like it more so specifically on Platyrex than like Platyapikasaurus. But it's too bad Platyrex has kind of a meh design. Because Platyapika has sails on its back. But then, when you, once you fuse Tenontorex with Platyapikasaur, it loses those for, uh, loses the, uh, the dorsal sails. And then, you lose the head crests and everything that Tenontorex has. So, like, Platyrex just is, essentially gets nothing from its parents. Which is kind of accurate, which, and it makes sense for Scudamet too, because sails are not a dominant trait. Yeah, dominant trait, dominant allele, whatever you want to say. 
Also, Paramolic, I think it got a pretty good buff. I think it is meta, but it's not like top, top meta. But it's like a top 20 creature, I think. In Legendaries, I think. To be wrong. Because I know the best is Doe. Because it goes Doe, Rebel, Angel. I forget the rest after that. I think Buck. Eh, I don't know. I could be wrong on that one. And then also, Mend and Run. I honestly think it's a bad move. Because you heal 0.5% of your damage stat, and then you have a cooldown of 3. Like, I get it's a and run move, but that's terrible. That's, that's not good. This should kill it. No, that's what? 2641. Since that's an impact, shouldn't that be 3000? But it might be 1.33 two times. But even then, it's not an impact then. <sighs> Excuse me. That's another one that needs a buff. Forest Sword needs a buff, especially after the Forest Rocko's buff. Velos Rocko's needs a buff after the Forest Rocko's buff. And Fourier Rex needs a buff after the Forest Rocko's buff. Pretty much all the Forest Rocko Tivers need one. And I especially want Plague Rex to get one. Because I think a good buff for Plague Rex would be to give it back. Like to revert its buff to give it so it has the alert, rending, lockdown, uh, swap and move, whatever it was called. And then whatever else was nerfed on it. But then also buff some resistances. Like buff the stun resistance to whatever, like a higher number, maybe like 75%. Pin to 75 to pin, pin immunity. I don't know what else. But knowing Ludia or Jam City, it would get like a bunch of affliction resistance now. Because that's what Jam City's answer is to everything. Hope I link in Indoraptor. Uh, I don't know what else. Cause I can't remember. I'll still go for it. I'll get some impact. But I don't think this is 1.5 because it would be 3,000 a hit. But it's not. Bam. Bam. I don't even know how Platyrex, like, performs on the tier list for Apexes or Apices. Oh, it's Smile Cephalosaurus. Ooh. I feel like a good thing would have been one turn two attacks for the dodge, to be honest. No, it's dead. I think I bypassed the dodge. But I guess a good thing out of the uh, Isla events is the Megalania DNA. Because Megalania is good, but not as good as it used to be because of Power Creep. But it's still pretty good because it has a lot of affliction. It has Exhaust, Overwhelming Impact, Devious Impact, Degenerative Strike, and then the uh, de Degenerative Swap and Strike, or whatever it's called. And I know I've, I've voiced my opinion on this before but Jam City needs to fix the classes how everything is classed because it literally says in game that DOT and Fierce are Fierce traits yeah no Rend and DOT are Fierce traits but then you look at something like Alan Kyle's uh, uh, Alan Kyle Ceratops it's a pure resilient with this with, with DOT 
And then, I think, wait, does it also have distraction? Okay, no, so that's just a poor design choice for those thing things. Wait, am I dead? Oh, thank god. Were there even any healers for this Eel event? I think Paramolic, right? I don't remember. Bam. Bam. You're dead. That's Orion. And also, I'm not a fan of the buff that Ketsurayan got, because it literally just gets a Rampage turn 1, and it's an, it's, and it is an and run move. I think it would have been better just to give it the Revenge Nullifying Rampage that Corbett Trebex has. But, you know, Jam City makes a lot of stupid decisions. Okay, I, I would use my Erlodom, or not Erlodom, Platerex, but I feel like it would probably die. And I don't want to risk that. Um. I could do Rebel, I guess. Because I have a feeling that the first thing that's going to be sent out is the Ichthyovenator, or. Or, or sorry, Ichthy. Ick the Avenger or the Erlodom, and then I would just die. For whatever reason. Oh, it was Erlodom first. Wait, am I dead? I might be dead. Yep. Yep. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. You swap. Okay. 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 To Yushi. Okay. Do you have to dig in on escape? You do. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. is this, what is this do? So it's literally just flexion with a little bit of DOT. Okay. Do you still die? You do not. I need a crit. Nope. Nope. I don't get a crit. Damn. I actually might be dead. No, actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm very close to it. Oh, no, I'm dead. Because it's going to create watch. Oh, I was... Oh, I was vulnerable. Oh. I actually might lose this because... This is stupid. Uh... I'll go Tyrant and Metrodon. I go for Devour. Probably should have went for Strike into Tyrant Roar. Yep. Definitely should have. Two, two, seven. Well, actually, no. I do I heal enough? I don't think I do. Yep. Okay. Good. Erla Domus. Get eaten. Nom. Oh, you're faster than I am. Okay.
I probably should have went for strike. I forgot I had that stupid thing. The strike with the DOT. And then it also has Salita Source Gina, which you need for um Raja Derixis. Raja Raja Derixis. What's the first move? Group cleansing impact. Okay, okay. But it has counter vulnerability. Okay, okay. I had to think. So I'm like, is DOT a good idea here? Is it bad? Do I just get someone something with a big hit? I forgot I'm able to use Megalania. That, 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 that. Sorry, I spaced out. This is too... If I gotta be honest, this is really easy. Random Daring Rampage. They actually made a, ra a, a Daring Rampage icon. No, I'm surprised. Because Dan's really terrible with raid icons, even though... This isn't a raid necessarily, but it's Andrew Tops, which is a raid. Future. Like raid boss. Okay, that doesn't do anything. 776. I can stun you. I have a 5% chance of stunning with my rampage. Too bad I didn't get it. so tired because today and today at work it was fine work how it is every day work two jobs go go to one that i drive to like you would a normal job but then the other one i get to come home and i can do at whatever time i so choose or sometimes i have to have a certain i have to have it done by a certain deadline and i'll have to be up super early in the morning Eh, I'll lose my son to Scorpius. I don't care. But I don't know why. I started thinking about something that happened in the past. And I don't know why. After that, it just put me in a sour mood for the rest of my shift. Which is weird, because I normally enjoy my job. But today, for whatever reason, it, it was not fun. Not enjoyable. Oh wait, am I dead? Is that taunt I forgot? Okay, okay. Am I dead? I'm dead. Because of vulnerability. Oh god. Oh, thank god. But that doesn't remove taunt, though. 
but I don't know if there's a boss move or it's a move that that, that Andrew Tops has. I honestly don't know. I think I, I think I win next turn. Do you still taunt next turn? No, you do not. Bam. Ooh, crit. Ooh. No, I don't even win. I don't even win with a crit. It came out of the thing that Ooh. Yep. I don't even think it's gonna die to DOT. But it might if it attacks my uh, Dollar Rakyrus, which it won't. Hmm. That did hardly anything. Are you dead? No, you're not. I didn't think so. But now you are. I ain't even got a crit. Too funny. There's only 50% on me. Okay. Well, that's going to have to wrap up today's Isla event video, which I'm going to be doing commentary on the Isla events from now on. Unless something happens, like say I'm not in the mood or something, or something happens. But, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, as it helps the channel out tremendously, and myself out tremendously. And, until the next video, which will be tomorrow for Try Hard Thursday... Stay safe, stay hydrated, stay happy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.